guys, welcome to today's video. So I wanted to show you something. Laura did chores earlier than me today, and I'll show you what happened. All right, so here's what happened. Open up the horse field, and this happened. All the goats are ransacking the horse field. Ransacking the horse field. Up, baby. What are you guys doing? Looks like I need to get another round bale today. Anyways, yeah. So because Laura did her chores earlier than me today, and it's really early in the morning still, but the goats are in the horse field. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is sunny and bright and wonderful, and we're gonna let the babies outside today. The goats just came back. They're beside themselves. They don't understand why their matriarchs are not here. It stresses them out. Right, Rosie? Especially Rosie in the back there. Wait, we're missing somebody. Oh, there she is. What I do is I just pick up those babies and bring them out. Bring out the babies and then <laughs> there's little Oscar. That's okay. Come on. Come on, twins. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's laying in the sun. Uh wait a minute. We've lost someone. Sylvie, stop sitting down on the job. <laughs> Look at how cute. So one mama. Two babies are out. We are getting it going. Come on, out, out. They all look like they, they've been through the ringer. They're like, oh, just feels so good to get outside. She's looking for her babies. All right, there's three. Still all fit in her hand. Wait. Do they all feel chubby? Yeah. Oh, look at Winston. Oh, look at Winston. It is getting warm outside. Be nice to her baby. Be nice to her baby. That's awesome. I She's know. She's the one that has one. I know. Where's your mama? Hey. Here. Let's see. Let me feel him. So we've been weighing the babies every day. Today is day five, I think, for them. And so today is day five for the, the youngest babies. And that's kind of like the tricky area. You have to really weigh them for the first couple of weeks to make sure. Because once the demands on mom's udder increases as the babies grow, that sometimes, that sometimes can lead to problems. So we're weighing them every day. Where it, gets, if, where it gets tricky is that it's really difficult to bottle feed babies when they're dam raised. The best way to bottle feed is to remove them. And you can't just remove one because then when you bring them back, eventually they don't fit into the herd. Nobody accepts them, nobody protects them. The other dam raised goats have moms that protect them. So it's difficult. So you have to take away two so that at least they have a friend. And I don't want to do that. I definitely do not want to take them away if I don't have to. I dreamed this. This is the only friendly one. I dreamed me stressing out and worrying about baby me coming down and finding dead babies because typically, remember, goats are fighter, uh, goats are prey animals. So they <laughs> babies will be jumping and running and playing until suddenly they aren't like they don't show you that they're that they're under that they're not doing well I'm keeping this boy. so that's why so that's why it's so important for us to keep weighing them like what other goat does this <laughs> he wants to get down now he's like i'm big enough anyway today is going to be the first day that all the babies start to come outside all the boys <laughs> yep and there's, there's Mocha's babies over there. She tries to keep them away from the herd. And I think that that's probably okay because it's going to ensure that they get fed. I just don't want them like being out in the harsh conditions. Look, this guy's already trying to eat. Hi, Hershey. Little Harley over there. Already trying to eat. The twins are definitely excited to be outside though. Absolutely excited. They are loving life out here. The triplets also loving life out here. Trying to climb on stuff. Winston also loving life out here. I don't know if I told you guys, but I don't care that all of our babies were boys. Like, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't stress me out. Once upon a time, it probably would have stressed me out, but... Oh, it's so to have I know God has a plan, and I want to fill our herd with registered goats. So I can see God's plan in giving us all boys. 
because we'll have to get rid of all the boys and then we'll have room for our registered goats. If we had girls, I definitely want to keep them all. So this is, this, this just works out perfectly. We get the joy of the babies. Oh, I'm already being signed up. We get all the milk. He doesn't know what to think about them, huh? I know, he's a little nervous of them. We get all the milk, all the joy, and we still have, we'll still have room for our registered goats, which is so fabulous. God is good even when he gives you what you weren't expecting, or even when he gives you what you weren't wishing for. Three. Oh, he's sorry. Put a bench out here. We do need a bench out here. Sophie and I can hardly sit on this thing. We're sitting. Right along that. All right, build me a nice bench. Build me a nice bench on this wall. One thing cool that I learned, is that it's hard to tell like she looks a little thin and if you look at her tail you can tell if your goat is thin or not they'll have like lots of extra fat at the base of their tail and she looks good but if you can't always tell yeah I want to build that into a shack. you want to build that into a shack close it all off and put a door right here so they can go in and yeah and be warm and stuff yeah. all right so who I really wanted to check was Lola but I can already tell Lola's not overweight she looks really big because she's got a, an appendage <laughs> she looks overweight because she's short and she's got a lot of fur but she's a good weight <laughs> Winston go. found his first man <laughs> he's like I'm a man like Sam he was following him that's not good. Her babies went up there and she can't get up there. So if you're going to have to grab them. See, this is why it makes me nervous for her to, for them to be out here with their, with, for her to take her babies away from the sheltered area. Somebody has to take the horse's blankets off. We should go do that, Sophie. Did you fix that door for me? <laughs> what a cute boy. He's scared of that ball. They are fast and furious. moms. This is why our moms get so skinny. They're chasing babies. Oh, his eyes are just so bright outside in the sun. Are you stuck? Yep. Come here, little man. <laughs> Try not to go in there. There you go. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> that poor moms. Oh my goodness! <laughs> They're so funny! It is sunny and hot today. Horses are getting their blankets off. Laura's even gonna get her blanket off. <laughs> like I need to take off my sweater, it's that hot outside. Like I can't believe it, it was freezing cold yesterday and then hot as heck today. So you guys, tomorrow, one of our very first new animals on our farm arrived. I told you guys the whole list of all the animals that we want to add to our farm this year. It's not a lot of different animals. We want to add a few more of what we already have, but there are a couple that we want to add that are brand new to us. Dude, why are you here? <laughs> you guys, she can get through the fence. Sam is working on it, trying to fix it, but she goes through the fence every single day so she can get the choicest grass. So tomorrow's video will be all about our brand new pet. I'm excited. It's a farm animal, but it'll probably be living with us temporarily. Sophie's so excited. I'm so excited. We're kind of fighting over it. 
we've named it. It'll be eight weeks old. Eight weeks, you guys. So it's another baby on the farm. Go ahead and comment below what you think it is. I just wanted to come down really quick. I looked in the camera. Sometimes I can't see everybody I want to see on the camera. But there's Winston. Our friends came and everybody loved Winston. Today's the first day that we left the mom and all the babies outside though and I just want to check. I only saw one brown one, one chocolate. Looks like somebody made a nest there. Uh, and so there's Winston, chocolate. Oh, there they are, right there, underneath there. So I saw those guys. Mom has them bedded down, so cute. Everybody's doing really good though. Integrating them back out into the herd. Integrating our mama's, uh oh. <laughs> That's not your mom. Integrating our mamas back into the herd. Success, you guys. We've done this twice now with three different goats. So when our friends came, uh-oh, I'm being bombarded. Listen, <laughs> trying to get, go, <laughs> go. So when our friends came, it was these three little babies that they liked the best, the tiniest ones. And the one that they is, is the favorite is this little gold guy, little baby Oscar right there. So super cute. All of them have blue eyes, every single one of our goats, which means that our boy must have the double gene for blue eyes, which means that he'll throw blue eyes in every baby. Yeah. You tell him, Tilly. You tell that boy to get out of here. <laughs> He's annoying. It was her over here making a nest. Anyway, everybody's good. But I forgot to show you guys, just before our friends stopped over, Sam, whoops, Sam made me this bench. It might not look pretty, <laughs> but it works. It works perfectly. Sophie and I have been sitting on that big tire and it hurts your butt, so now we have a nice bench to sit on. Poor little Ellie is feeling the stress of having babies. I don't let her come down as much with me because I have to lock her in the stall. Holy moly, look how big, oh, I missed it. But when Honey was standing on at the side, you can see how much she grew. She is huge now. I really wanna get started on my garden. I know it's so early and I have lots of time, but look at that dirt, it looks really good, you guys. So the, uh, the rest of our property is sandy and this is nice, really, really nice soil. So. I need to get in here and get all the pieces of grass out. So that is something I'm definitely gonna get done super soon. But I'm excited to get started. I love digging in the dirt. Love it. But it's gonna be amazing. The only thing I don't like about this garden is that it's on a slope. So I might have to build that up. I have so many plans for it. I've been Pinteresting all the things that I want to do. It's quite big. It might not look that big, but it is quite big. Another thing I want to do is get all of our lawn raked. It's spring break, so I want to get the girls out here and make them help me. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to clean up this wood pile. Do you guys remember that this was the wood pile? I want to clean it up. It's almost all burnt. So this is basically all that's left. I wanna throw it into the burn barrel and kind of rake this up because I think like it would be good to make a little pen out here for like our meat chickens or or for some of our chickens. We're gonna have some turkeys this year as well. I wanna make like a little enclosed area out here. So I definitely wanna get that cleaned up. It's just a big mess. Just what you always wanted to do on your spring break, help your dad. No, it's nice out. Gabby's driving. All right, Sophie. Without telling them how what it is, what how excited are you about our new farm pet that's coming tomorrow? Excited. Who's does it? Who does it belong to? Me. <laughs> no, me. Me? No, it's me. No, it's me. No, it's me. No, it's me. We're sharing it. It's mine. We're sharing it. I chose this name. It's mine. Yeah, she picked the name. We're super excited about the name. This will be the first animal in a while that we already picked the name before it even comes. Hopefully the name suits the personality 
of this pet. I'm so super excited to introduce you guys. Like I am excited. Oh, so, uh, this is something that I've been wanting for a really long time. I wanted one for a, a long time. We've had them when I was growing up. I didn't have them. My sister had them. She had two of them and I thought they were really cool. It's actually spring. Next week, I think it's spring, the first day of spring. So it is time to get everything all cleaned up. <laughs> Nobody's have. There's so many bugs. <laughs> Cammie, you don't, over me now. you don't need winter stuff on. left of our poop pile we had a few people come and take poop and they took at least a half of the pile so uh, hopefully more people come Gabby says that I should buy her a coffee because and Sophie, because they are doing such a good job here. Don't you know the 